isn't exactly what I thought. It's, uh, It's uh, crammed like a tuna can. It's not like you're taking a nice leisurely boat ride. It's uh, an airplane coach on water. Well, I am in Japan, but... <laughs> This place caters to Jap or caters to Korean tourists. So there's a lot of Korean here. Everybody, all the Japanese I've seen here understand Korean, speak Korean. Sorry about the wind. I have to walk down into town to catch the bus to go to the actual city on this island. The boat stops up here at a little tiny place. This is um, heat. Uh, I forgot the name for it already, but I want to go to Izuhara. <laughs> It's just a cozy little room, but they do have this. They're, they have a menu in Korean, so that is very, very helpful. found my first geocache in Japan and I'm taking a trackable back to Korea because it wants to travel and I'm traveling so why not uh, it was in this tree pretty easy to find even uh, with my Garmin telling me there are no roads there are no roads yes Garmin I know there are no roads but I found it anyway so I really want to find a hotel and change into some less stinky clothes. But I'm kind of confused. I really don't know where I am. Well, this is something. You can see, you can see the cache is right there. But I'm having a terrible time. Every time I get my fingers, I it falls down a little farther. <sighs> I can't get it out. So, I'll have to puzzle about this. Yeah, I found a hotel. I went to the one called the Tsushima Hotel and they they require a reservation. So I came down here. There was a girl there who spoke Korean, so I asked her if there was another hotel and she directed me down this way. And there are some more hotels. Um, it is Japan, so uh, let's take a look here. Some extra blankets and, and a robe. Some extra toilet paper. Um, as I say, it's Japan. It is <laughs> small. Everything in Japan is small. Slippers. 
There's not much on TV, just Japanese. But let's see, let's look out the window. It's a canal, leads out towards the ocean, I guess. And uh, there might be some nightlife. I'm not sure. Mm, there's a lot of, a lot of, um, I keep wanting to think of Second Life uh, Zingo, but it's kind of like that. It's like a room full of bedding machines or something like that. I don't know. But they like that here. Regal. Regal, if, if you know anything about Japan, a lot of places call it Regal, and they have these uh, bedding machines. I don't know what they are. I don't bet. I find that a waste of time and money. Okay. About the cash I found but could not extract. I am probably going to wait until dark. Go back. See if that woman is gone. Because she was really riled up and on her phone, going back and forth, in and out of the door. Looking at me, going back in on the phone, coming back out, looking at me, going back in on the phone. I didn't like the looks of that. So, um, cops didn't come. I kind of expected a cop car to pull up and ask me questions, but nothing ever happened. I don't know what this is. I can't read anything in Japanese. But the cash is down there. All right, you can see what I did. I put a piece of gum on a stick and that pulled it right out. Well, that was my solution and it worked. Thing is, uh, I had the gum with me in my bag the first time, but I never thought about it because that lady was, she was kind of scaring me because I did not want the cops to show up. Anyway, gum on a stick. It works just fine. When I got back to the motel, I found a hotel, and uh, and I dumped my crap out on the on the floor, and then I saw the gum, and I thought, Ah, yeah. What's wrong with me? I am. I am. I'm no MacGyver, but I'm kind of like MacGyver's stupid stepson, you know? So, I, I can figure things out if you give me enough time. Alright, well, the sky is moving pretty fast. I wonder if there's a storm coming.